Hey everybody, I am Jimmy Chobes and I am sitting on my ass. <clears throat> His name is Piles. Say hi, Piles. <laughs> What's that in the distance, Piles? My god, it's some kind of huge beer bottle base. We're saved! I thought we'd never get out of this desert biome. Let's go, Piles! So here we are guys, Beer Bottle Base is the first of many mega builds I plan on doing in Minecraft. It combines my two favourite hobbies, uh, gaming and drinking. A little about the build then, um, well first of all I was vain enough to put my name on the front of it. This is uh, Jimmy Beer apparently. The gold at the base is supposed to represent uh, lager and I've used white wool for the head. As for the item list then, to build this base you will need the following. 416 quartz, 1908 redstone, 4249 glass block, 4662 gold bars, or 41,958 gold nuggets. So you absolutely will have to have a gold farm. Alright guys, let's go inside and check out Beer Bottle Base. So this is the uh, map room stroke living area. Here we can see a list of what's on each floor. Uh, the potion bar and vault is what we really want to check out, but we'll get to that in a bit. So to continue along the lines of the glass theme, uh, beer bottle base had to have an aquarium, of course. I went a bit over the top here because it does stretch over three floors, but um, I I'm, I'm happy with the result. Uh, the map itself looks pretty sad at the moment, but we'll improve on that in the future. Here we have the water elevator. I actually put this in last and didn't have room for one going down, so... Uh, we can only go up. Oh, that, that's fine. There is actually a really effective way of going down in the base, but I, I'll show you that later on. Uh, luckily, it's night now, so that means Potion Bar is open, as Potion Bar only opens at night. So, that's cool. Let's go check out Potion Bar. So, a giant beer bottle of base needs a bar, of course, and what else is there to drink in Minecraft? Yep, there are potions. Drink enough and you'll be pretty messed up, just like in real life. So this is Potion Bar. I think it looks absolutely awesome. Uh, I'm really happy with the result. I put a lot of effort into this and it really paid off. But so yeah, what have we got here? We've got Lloyd for a start. Say hello, Lloyd. How's business? Come up with any new cocktails? Yeah, he's not much of a talker, but um, we, we have fun, don't we, Lloyd? So yeah, um, Potion Bar has everything in it you need to make every kind of potion. I hope they don't come up with a new potion, otherwise I won't be able to fit it. <laughs> I have just enough space for every potion and every ingredient needed. There are actually more ingredients up here in these little cool boxes. Kept cool by the ice, of course. So you start off at the glass station, grab your sand, turn it into glass, make it into a bottle, grab your ingredients, then over to the brewing station to brew your potion. And if you need water, water's here. What's this? What's this sign? I didn't put this sign here. What is that? Please refill after you- Lloyd, did you write this? Lloyd, that, that's root. What is that supposed to say? That's, is, that a, is that a curse word, Lloyd? <laughs> well, I, I always refill. I always refill the cauldron. Oh, oh, sorry. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? That is not my design, actually. That is designed by Rogue Fox, but I'll put the link for that in the description and give the guy credit. That is really cool to have. So yeah, and each potion has a hilarious name. Well, some of them are okay. Faster Sonic Tonic. That rhymes. That's not bad. That's <laughs> that's the speed potion, whatever it is. Is it potion of speed? Is that the name? What is it called? Potion of swiftness. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> it's potion of speed. And then uh, they get worse as they go along. Uh, this one, ve veminade. That that's supposed to be like lemonade. That's the poison potion or potion of poison. Is that what that's called? Uh, it is potion of poison. Good. Funny. Yeah. Um. Senzu Bean Beer, that's a, a Dragon Ball Z reference. Um, I've got another Dragon Ball reference here. It's uh, Master Roshi Standard Vodka. I like that. Uh, that, that that's not bad. Uh, uh, my favorite, though, is Say Hello to My Little Blend. That's perfect. Um, that's the potion of weakness. And the worst of the worst is... Da -da 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 Saki. Okay, that's a Final Fantasy reference. That's the experience potion. Yes. I promise I won't do that again. Also behind the bar we've got a little hatch there which leads down to the beer cellar. That also leads to a few secrets, including the vault. But before we go down, we're gonna go up and explore the rest. So let's go back up and head into the kitchen area. But first, check out how cool the pool looks from here. That's the good thing about having a base made out of glass. Everywhere's a window. It's kind of ironic that I have windows, actually, and pointless. 
Now, the pool is supposed to be a beer hop. Um, if you don't know, don't know what a beer hop is, it kind of looks nothing like that at all. <laughs> um, I made it out of terracotta. It looked really good until I put water in it, but oh well, never mind. Going upstairs then into the kitchen area. Now, this isn't the um, smallest kitchen in the world, but it, it, it's pretty close. Yeah, uh, it, it, a beer bottle base is definitely a bachelor shack. As you can see, this table is only big enough for one person. The reason the room's so small is because the aquarium takes up half the room. Uh, never mind. I do like the nice high ceilings in here, though. That, that makes it look pretty cool. There is a secret just up there, but we'll get to that later on. Around the corner now, we have the jacuzzi area. Yes, you need a jacuzzi. Sometimes there's a uh, fish swimming at the back there, but, but not today. Out here, then, we go down onto the balcony, the main balcony under the Jimmy sign. I've got to be careful where I tread here because I, I always forget that this, uh, this sofa, this is actually stairs, and sometimes I just walk off. Which is, yeah, really dumb. Here's a little barbecue I thought it'd be cool to have. Uh, I didn't realize that um, you can't cook on a barbecue or fire. It just incinerates meat straight away and it's gone forever. But, uh, okay, that doesn't work. Over here is a little esky where I would put beer if beer existed in Minecraft. But uh, for now, it just has ice and snow things in. Just ready. It's just there ready for when Minecraft do make beer. Uh, that would be cool. Okay, let's head up now. Back upstairs into, we'll go this way, into the master suite. Yes, the master bedroom. Uh, now this is looking great, I love this room. I don't actually sleep here very often, I should really, but I'm usually out exploring. The idea was to um, have the bedroom behind the Jimmy sign for privacy, that was the idea, because everywhere else is made of glass. But it just means that I have no windows in here, <laughs> so never mind. I have a window into the aquarium. So um, I can see the fish and they can see everything I get up to in this room, which is uh, weird. Um, here is a wardrobe, which is has things and stuff in. Uh, of course, that's what wardrobes have in them. And also, next door we have a... Oh, God damn it! I gave away the... I gave away the... I gave away the secret, but never mind. That was just dumb. Oh, look, what's that? Oh, it's a secret ladder. Where does this lead? Let's go and check it out. We may as well now. Okay, here we go. Yes, we have a little secret stash room here, which is really cool. This is where I keep all my special things. I even have a bed here in case I need to guard my special things from nobody. Nobody at all, because nobody comes up here except for me. Right, now I've got to head back down. No, no, go down, down. Uh, I'm not very good with ladders. Down a ladder, please. Thank you. Okay, right, just close. No, that's the trap door. I always think that's the door. That's the door. Right here, which way? Let's go out this way and head on to this area, which is nice. Right, moving on. I don't know what that area is for. Uh, it's just there. Um, we'll go up to the third floor now, which is the library floor. Oh, yeah. Library's looking really good. This turned out cool. We have a ladder here, which we go up and then we go around to the stairs and go back down again. Yes. Um... That's that's the tour of the library for you. <laughs> um, here is where I keep my lapis lucille. What is it? Lapis? Lapis lazuli. <laughs> okay, is that it? Okay, this is where I keep my lapis lazuli. That, that stuff, the blue stuff. Um, and this is the real enchanting table. That one's just for show because with the bookshelves are closer, so it works. This is the, uh, well, the first guest bedroom, I guess. Yeah, this one has a window. Hooray! <laughs> Not much else. Um, yeah, it's got some boats. <laughs> uh, yes, these doors. These doors here. These were a terrible idea. Um, the idea was, yeah, they were supposed to open like that, both at the same time. But usually they just click or open one at a time or hit me in the face. So, yeah, th th they're annoying. Um, onto a tiny, tiny veranda we go. This was a lot bigger, but then it didn't look right from the outside when you fly around the base, so I, I had to make it tiny. <laughs> um, okay, back through the annoying doors. Okay, get through the door, thank you. I, I'm going to destroy these doors one day, soon. So this bed, um, I can never sleep in because there is a monster around all the time. <laughs> um, and I'll show you exactly where he is. If we go up this ladder to this section and then open this trap door here there is a secret switch which moves these bookcases to 
Yes, a nether portal. Yes, um, a base has to have a nether portal. And behind the nether portal, you can see there is Steve. Hello, Steve. Let's just walk through. Hi, Steve. How are you? Um, yeah, Steve came through the portal one day and he never left, did you, Steve? No, you guard the portal. Yes, you're a good guy. Um, yes, guard them from Enderman. Don't try to kiss me, Steve. Oh, Steve! Oh, Steve! Where'd Steve go? Oh, no! Oh, push Steve through. F <laughs> Damn it! Oh, well, there goes Steve. <laughs> oh. oh, well. I'll go back and retrieve Steve. <laughs> I'll go retrieve Steve later. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, I'll just close, close up here. Anyway, anyway. On to, um, on to the next secret. What is it? Yes, the, uh, the forbidden section. That's it. That's what I was supposed to show you. Yeah, this is where I keep all my, my hentai. <laughs> no, not hentai. What is it? Uh, oh, yes. Uh, enchanted books. That's it. Yeah. So, um, I put cobwebs here to make it look more, um, more forbidden E, I I guess. But it just, it just means I can't get down this ladder at all very easy. Oh, uh, without... If I, if I get it in the right place, there, there, ooh, there, there we go, and then I can get down. Cool, so yes, um, here we have a very small forbidden section um, with all the enchanted books, all from A to Z, in order. What's this? What is that? A quirk? What is a quirk? A quirk affinity? It's ma. Ah, I can't believe it. The first word of the first enchantment is a typo. Okay, well, um, that's, that's ruined that. I've got to change that one now. Great, okay, well. Anyway, I don't have too many at the moment, but my collection is growing. Oh, there's one missing here. Why, where did that go? <sighs> so, anyway, behind these cobwebs are the super secret books. There is a secret way of getting into it, and that's this. You see, ha, ah, yes, you open the trap doors, and then you can use them as a platform to walk to get access to the chest. How cool is that? Okay, we gotta do this right without falling down. Ah, damn it! <laughs> yes, I knew I'd do that. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, um, so that's the forbidden section. Now we'll go up to the next floor. Um, this switch I will explain to you very soon. And let's go into, let's go into this way. Let's go into the greenhouse. Yes, the greenhouse looks really cool. Um, this is where the bottleneck starts to curve out. So I thought it'd be great to have a little greenhouse here as you know, it goes along the glass theme again. And if you walk just around this corner here, we're into the third bedroom. This is where I sleep mostly, actually, because um, this room's got everything you need in it. It's got food, it's got it's got water, water under here, and it's got music as well. So yeah, this is my favorite little room. A little balcony, which just has a good view. Okay, uh, I must explain about this chest here. This chest is my trash can. As you see, if I put the dirt in, away it goes. So yeah. Now, I was going to make this trash can um, work with lava, but um, I learned the hard way that that is not a very good idea at all. Oh my god, get out, get out, Steve, Steve, help me, oh my god, everything's on fire, put it out, f***ing, oh, Jesus Christ, oh my god, it's just, it's just carnage. So instead of doing it that way, I decided to have um, just hoppers to a, um, a dispenser, and then if I flick this switch, as you see, the sign says waste disposal, then the dispenser just throws everything out the window <laughs> onto the floor. And that's one way of getting rid of things. Okay then, where are we going now? Here into the little workshop. I love this workshop. I spend most of my time in here. Very tiny. Again, I don't have much room left in the base <laughs> anymore. But it's cool that this is tiny. Because all I have to do is, is stand on the spot here. And I can just spin around, grab what I need. And access any workbench I need as well. It's great. This is actually a really good idea. I would recommend it to anybody. And you can craft really quickly. So that's that floor done. Um, moving out this way, we go on to the rooftop garden. What I did was I cut away from the bottle here to make like a little walkway, like an entrance onto the garden. And that worked out great. That's where my water elevator ends, actually. Now, I must explain this area here, which looks like a huge grid. That is actually going to be my next mega build. It's going to be part of um, Beer Bottle Base, and it's going to be awesome. Okay, we've got a nice view of the bottleneck from here. There is a ladder there, and that goes even higher. Let's go even higher again. And we are into a little fire pit room, which has a chimney going all the way up, all the way up the bottleneck, which is something I wanted as well. This, this worked out really cool. I really um, need to utilize this room better. Um, I'm thinking about making it like a, a, a dye room, having all different dyes and banners and stuff. Because that's, you know, that's what hippies do. You know, they sit around the fire and they play with dyes. <laughs> yeah, so... Ah! Oh, no! Oh, I always walk into the fire. 
God damn it! <laughs> Never mind. Okay, I'll go. It's okay. I'll go out soon. All right, there we go. Okay. Right, we're gonna continue going up. Yes, we don't need to see the views anymore. We're just gonna go the long, long trek up the neck, and then uh, come out the mouthpiece. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, come out of the mouse beef, Jesus Christ. Yeah. yeah, I did have railings around here, but um, it was either railings or paintings, and I went with paintings in the end. So yes. Okay, we're nearly there, nearly at the top, at the summit. So high up now, we're probably a 120, I think, I'm not sure. I, normally I have my coordinates on, but not today. I need some food. Hum, 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 hum. And here we are, the top, yes. Look at this. We can see four miles here. We can even go one further, three blocks higher to the very, very top of Beer Bottle Base. Okay, right. Now, I did mention before there was an effective way of going down. Uh, and I'll show you that right now. Right, what shall I go for? Uh, normally, I aim for here, which is easily done, actually. But I haven't gone for the pool before. I might attempt the pool. I'm going to attempt... The pool. Okay, ready for this? I'm just gonna line myself up. And a three, two, one, and away we go. Yeah, good, duck, duck, dilly. Oh, yes, he's there. Man, I really didn't think I was gonna make that. It wasn't quite the pool, but uh, close enough. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, let's head back inside the base. No chickens in the pool area. And um, go into the vault now. That's the last thing. To show you guys um, now potion bar should be closed now because it's daytime but that's okay I luckily included a switch just there haha -ha. so I can get inside Let's go check back on Lloyd how you doing Lloyd still there are you yeah do you ever sleep no there's no bed for you is there <laughs> right Lloyd now stay over there please yes because I'm going to go down this trapdoor okay just stay there don't follow me over here, Lloyd. Yes, because you, you you fall down sometimes, don't you? Yes. And then if you do fall down, I have to get a new Lloyd. Yeah, remember that time you fell down and I got a new Lloyd? No, you don't, do you? No, yeah, because it wasn't you, it was somebody else. Yes. Okay, stay there. Stay there. Right. Okay, let's go down into the cellar. Here we go. Close up quickly. Oh, nice. All right, we've got a, a nice little wine or beer cellar here. I like to think beer cellar. So there's not much going on. But if we look under here, we can see there's something happening over here. So we just got to search around. And if I look, I know where to look anyway. It's in here. If I look in here, there's a switch. I switch the switch. And then there's access to this area. Yes. Cool. A little armory. Now this armory is just a front, actually, because um, all these chests are actually empty. Oh, that one isn't. <laughs> no, that one is. <laughs> because this isn't the real armory at all. No, actually the real armory is underneath us. So we flick yet another switch. This switch reveals a hidden staircase, which is pretty cool. And we go down into, yes, the vault area. Here we are, finally. Ah, right now, let's open up and have a look inside. No, I... Oh, shit. <laughs> It's a creeper. Oh no! Oh, where's my sword? <laughs> ah! Fuck, fuck! Don't! 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 Oh God damn it! Ah! <laughs> oh, oh, that's ah! Oh, that's ruined everything. Uh, so I'll fix this <laughs> and be right back. Okay. So after that ordeal, um, I think it's better we enter the vault via the. The secret entrance way so I will show you this now um, you may have seen it on the intro but the secret entrance is actually something to do with this veranda section so yes as we look it just looks like a typical veranda nothing nothing much going on here but if we go up to this little I don't know what you call this is it a gazebo I guess so <laughs> we can see there is a button here and if we press the button and then look over here it does absolutely nothing yes not not yet anyway because um, there is another hidden button around here and this one's super super hidden uh, the best way is just to show you really it's up this tree yes this isn't actually a planted tree this is a man-made tree 
<laughs> or a Jimmy made tree. Yes, I made this tree. And if you we go up the vines, there is another button here. Yes, we press this. You can see it's attached to a piston. We press this button, head down, and then this time... Whoa! -ho! Secret underwater entrance. Oh no, all the fish are dying. <laughs> um, yeah, the secret underwater entrance is revealed. That's it, jump over, jump. Oh yes, you've made it. You've made it, Nilly. Yes, well done, good jump. Uh, I don't think you guys are going to. Oh no, he's going. <laughs> Go on, son. <laughs> Go on, quick, quick. Oh, that was so close. Ah, oh, three fishies. Hmm, thank you. I'll take that. Thank you. Anyway, yes, this is a really, really cool. Get inside. A really, really cool design. This is probably the best thing I've come up with actually so far. Okay, right. Let's uh, let's head inside. Okay, here we go, and here we can close it up. Nice. And then this switch gives us access to this area here. Haha. -ha. Right, this time we shall go inside. Hopefully without any issues. Ooh. Ooh, yes, we're okay. Cool. Phew. Okay. Right, this is the vault. Vault is looking pretty empty because I haven't built anything yet except for this. That's where I'm going to put some... Uh, I'm, I'm hoping some netherite once I acquire some netherite. But I think I'm going to tear this down, actually, because I've got some really big ideas for the vault, and uh, it's going to be huge. And that's going to probably be my next video when it's finished. So, yeah, we'll come back to that another day. I'll just close that up. All right, let me just squeeze around here. Let me just explain this, this glass door. So the reason this glass door is in place is because if I open the switch, the water's going to flow through, and the glass door stops the water... Oh no, it's a salmon! Again! Oh no, quick, quick! I will save you, I'll save you! I'll just run and um, explain quickly that this button now comes into play because it's going to close the door up and is it going to save the salmon? No! Was that him? <laughs> Did he get locked inside? I don't know! <laughs> I can't figure it out, you all look alike! Quick, quick, quick! Press the button again! <laughs> See if he's alive or dead! I hope he survived, and the answer is no. He didn't. There he is. Shame. <laughs> oh well, that is a shame. Um, and that's about the end of the tour. There is one more thing I want to show you, uh, because it's just about getting dusk now, and we're gonna head over. I'll return the salmon to the sea. There you are. And head over back to the pool area and. There's one last thing I need to show you in the pool bar. Doesn't it look great here at sunset? Okay, so, as you can see, it is unmanned at the moment. But there is a button here which says, press for service. So if we press this... Oh look! Instant service! How good is that? Is that you, Lloyd? Is it? It is you, Lloyd! Thank you for getting here so fast. Um, could I have a beer, please? Oh, uh, no, you don't have beer, do you? Yes, and I'll, I'll show you quickly how that works. It's a a really, really clever invention of mine. It involves a piston and a bed, yes. So what happens is, oh, that's not the right place. It has to be here. What happens is, yeah, sorry Lloyd, <laughs> you, go, yeah, you can go to sleep, go on, there you are. What happens is, um, if I press this button, the piston breaks the bed. <laughs> like that, <laughs> and then Lloyd has to get up and serve me, don't you Lloyd? Come on, come on. Oh, oh, he's sulking now. <laughs> sorry, Lloyd. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll here you are. I'll put your bag back for you. If you moved out the way, there you go. Okay. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Oh, it's raining. Um, and that's the end, guys. That's the end of the tour. Thank you so much for joining me. If you made it all this way around Beer Bottle Base. Uh, I didn't actually mention before, but Beer Bottle Base has been made solely in survival mode. I only use creative for uh, making videos. So, yeah, that's uh, quite an achievement, I think. <laughs> Alright, well, thanks again. Cheers for watching. And, yeah, please give me a sub. That will really help my channel grow. And I'll catch you for the next mega build next time. Take it easy, guys. See ya. No, no, no! no!